So today I have a super, super, super exciting video. I have been so looking forward to making this. So I'm gonna throw us back to a video that I made two years ago now when I got these amazing gothic winkle picker pikes from the gothic shoe company now i've done this one up for you just so you can see what it looks like but you can probably see that these are well <laughs> well worn i absolutely love these boots i know when i got them i was like slightly unsure whether or not like i would wear them much but i have to say like two years down the line you can see that these have definitely had enough wearing them so i am super excited but today i have a new pair of gothic shoe company boots to show you and i feel when i hold them up next to each other you can tell just how much i've worn these ones so i am really really excited to have a new pair as you can see they are somewhat similar to the ones that i got before but there are a few subtle differences in the design and the make and the shape of them and i've just been so so excited to show these to you so the gothic shoe company is based in england and the thing i love about this company is all of their boots are completely handmade. so these aren't just like churned through a factory like you know your usual high street store boots would be these are like fully made to your feet to the point where the actual circumference of this is based around my actual leg like it is made to fit you perfectly and since these are like handmade so much love and like care goes into them and you can really tell by like the finishing touches and the details to them so when you order the boots they do need to actually hand make them so they don't get shipped off like straight away because they need a little bit of leeway time just to hand make them of course once they are ready they are shipped straight off to you but when i consider the fact that these are actually like handmade to my foot they got here super super quickly i've definitely been able to see in like comparison to when I bought these a couple of years ago and definitely see how now they've obviously got more staff and production is a lot quicker and the boots do actually genuinely feel like an even nicer quality now these are also sent first class and also signed for which I very very appreciate these are quite expensive boots they range around the 80 pound mark and if you're spending that much money you want to make sure it gets to you safely so I was very very pleased to see that this was a signed for package it also means that if it gets lost you can check it and find out where it is so they came in this gothic shoe company box and it was wrapped in like a plastic box cover um just with my address and stuff on but when you take it off you're left with the box now on the side of the box it says the gothic shoe company which is of course the name the style which is dawn bat because of course i needed some bat boots the color which is black leather and also the size five now going back to the color or the material another thing which i do really admire about this company is they do offer like a variety of different materials that you can get your boots made in so i've just gone to the actual listing for these boots and as you can see when you scroll up there are various different primary color options and these are all the different materials that these boots are actually like available in so you can get them in like a black leather which is what I got because I do like to have actual leather boots but you can also get them in a vegan black leather if you would prefer you can get them in a suede which I'm yet to get any suede boots from this company but I feel like it may be an interesting material to try out and also a black painted which is more of a shiny material and then of course there are other colours available depending on the boots which you choose there's even like silver ones green ones I've even seen some with like leopard print patterns on there you go so there's lots of different kind of varieties on there and as you can see there are boots for days on there so you can definitely find a pair which suits your style I did just want to mention that they do come in like different like colours and materials so if you see a picture of the boots but you think oh I'd prefer if they were shiny it is definitely worth clicking on the listing and seeing if they do make them in that form so back to the box they did come in this white box and oh my goodness when i opened this i cried tears of joy because inside it was lined with red tissue paper and then these boots were really nicely like packaged in here all wrapped in the tissue paper so i had black and red so i was overwhelmed by the black and red combination which is of course my favorite color combination so i bought these boots in a size five now i am usually a size five in most shoes i'm a size five but if they do have the option of a 5.5 like in vans and some trainers like i know nike trainers do them in 5.5 i will get the extra half size just 
for a little bit of extra space. Now I did order these in a five and also I do have quite wide feet. People always say, oh, I wish I could wear pikes and winkle pickers, but I've got such wide feet and I'm like, I've got wide feet. My feet are very, very wide, but they still fit nice and comfortably into these. And as I was saying about the half size, because you've got this point, it does give you that little bit of extra room at the end. Not enough for your foot to be slipping around and stuff, but I just personally don't like my toes being too like cramped up at the end. You have this lovely, nice point for your toes just to chill out in. Now, of course, this time around, I chose to get bat buckles. On my last boots, I did get pentagram buckles, but when I bought these originally, I was definitely weighing up between the pentagrams and the bat. So this time I thought I'd get the bat version, and this is called the Dawn Bat Boot. Now, it wasn't until I got these that I noticed how detailed these buckles actually are. From the picture, I could tell that they were bats and that they had some detail to them, but I didn't realize they were this detailed. There's even like little kind of facial features of the bat. You can see its rib cage, and it's obviously got like the grooves in its wings and its little feet. And I love the fact that they've added in the bat's thumbs. I love it when bats are kind of shown in this more kind of realistic state. And these bats are actually kind of attached to the actual square of the buckle itself. So they are nice and sturdy on there. They're not going to kind of fall off or flick up or anything. So I decided to go for four straps just because I have tried and tested it with my old pair. And although these do take slightly longer to put on than your average, like, slip on shoe obviously because you've got four buckles to do i love the effect that it creates so i have the other pair here just because this is what they look like when they're not on normally i did decide to go for a zip up the front rather than laces but they do make this in like a more classic style which has the laces across the front and then once you've done the zip up the buckles kind of go across i think it's kind of more of like a visual aesthetic to have the buckles going across at the same time i do like the fact that it means it really does hug the foot but really nicely because you can adjust these to be kind of as tight or loose as you'd like now something which i've definitely noticed with these boots the same as the other boots is that i do put these buckles on different settings so they're not all on the first setting i think the ones in the middle i put on like the second setting in so they are really kind of like adaptable to whatever your foot shape is i think possibly because i have quite wide and flat feet i like this to bit to be slightly tighter whereas then i've got my calf which has to fit in here now one of the big kind of differences between these two boots so this is the original pair which i got and as you can see i did actually put my insoles in there in the end so i think i may end up going and buying some insoles for these just for the health of my foot hopefully you can see that the hole is like a slightly different size to the first pair i got so this pair does fit me it is just slightly kind of tight around my calf this time they did ask if i wanted this bit slightly larger so i did get this a couple of millimeters like wider to fit my calf in and now it fits like a dream with my original ones because they were slightly tight it meant i could only kind of wear them with like tights whereas these ones i can wear them with jeans i can wear them with fluffy socks in the winter i can wear them with everything now so i'm so so pleased with that now as for the workmanship as you can see everything is very very neatly finished off i have got multiple kind of handmade items in the past not only just shoes but kind of clothing and like homeware and things and usually i kind of see bits of string popping out or maybe like kind of imperfections which is one of the things i do like about handmade items is the fact that they don't all look exactly the same but when you look at the overall kind of presentation of these boots it is very very high quality there's no kind of loose threads or obvious cuts and all the joints are done so nicely with a very very professional look so there's no point me just holding these up and showing you i'm going to insert some clips of what these look like on so you can get more of an idea of how they look when you're walking around.
see these do have a very slight heel to them but it's a very kind of comfortable heel it's a very sort of natural height to be at and the actual bottom of the shoe as you can see I have worn these so they are like slightly scuffed where I've been walking um, but they are very very smooth just want to say with this like cold frosty weather be careful not to slip on ice because these don't have like the same sort of grip as like say a pair of vans would have so that's just something to be careful of but as for like the shape of them i always get people saying oh don't you find them hard to walk in aren't you always tripping over your own toes and in fact it's kind of completely the opposite i have to say the pikes and like the um winkle picker boots which i've got from gothic shoe company have actually been some of the most comfortable shoes which i've got as i said I did actually put some insoles in the bottom of these ones and it does just kind of give them that little bit of added squish because the soles of these are very very thin but these ones are slightly thicker but I think I'll probably add insoles anyway just because the arches of my feet are not okay basically. I know that since these boots are like £80 they are kind of in the higher price range but I have to say they're definitely like a very good investment. If you look at the boots which I bought like two years ago they're still like up and going. They're not on their last legs yet. I still have probably another like two to three years wear out of these. So they are definitely a good investment. They're something that you can keep coming back to and keep wearing. So easy to style with different clothing. Of course you would have seen that they do these buckles in different designs. We've got bats, we've got pentagrams. They even do coffin ones but they do do some which are like regular buckles if you're looking for something a little bit more simplistic I want to say. There are definitely different buckles and styles of these boots which can suit like most styles and most occasions as well. They have some really formal ones and then I'd say kind of these ones are slightly more casual and these ones are kind of in the middle like everyday ones so it's definitely kind of worth looking through the etsy store if you are after something that is a little bit different something kind of handmade that you know is going to be of a good quality and something that you will be getting a lot of use out of now the other main difference i've noticed between my original pikes and then these boots which i got is the soles of these ones bend slightly more whereas because the soles of these are slightly thicker they don't have quite as much bend to them now i'm not sure whether or not this is going to alter with the more I've worn them because obviously these old ones have had two years to be broken in whereas these ones are still relatively new so I'm not sure whether or not that's going to change. I'll be definitely putting updates on Instagram and also my Facebook as to like how these are aging but if it's anything like my other pair these are going to be lasting me a long time. So I will leave everything that you need down below all the links and things to the shops. I will also leave links down to their social media because often I've been scrolling through their Instagram page and I've come across a pair of boots which I've never seen before and they do also repost pictures of people wearing their boots so you can actually get more of an idea of what they look like on. So I do have to say my overall kind of experience from the Gothic Shoe Company has been amazing. I'm really really pleased with the service. The customer service is very quick when I send them messages they are very fast to reply. They've answered all my questions and of course they have catered to my needs and made this bit slightly bigger for me which is really really nice of them it's definitely kind of a service that goes way beyond like your average shoe manufacturer as i said i will leave everything that you need to find these boots down below so i did also want to mention since i'm here it's come to my attention a few of you have sent me messages about it that there is a youtube channel that is stealing my content thank you very much um and they have been uploading it and they do upload a lot of my very old videos and hauls and post them now so they're coming up as new videos now i have tried everything i've called youtube i've called google i've just I've done everything to try and get this channel removed but I'm getting nowhere so I just like to thank all of you guys who have let me know. Um, I do know now. <laughs> I'm, I am aware of it and I'm working on it but it's not going too well. Now they did also upload my haul of these pikes and in the title it does say that it is a disappointed review so it's drawing in a lot of views when you're typing it in google it's the first thing that's coming up and if you do actually kind of click on the video and watch it you'll see that the review isn't really negative it's just kind of the title and the thumbnail which i think is what people see first and take in so if you guys could do me a favor please go over and show this company some love they do make some really really nice boots and i do feel quite guilty that a video that i made a couple of years ago has been kind of re-uploaded and it has this kind of negative connotation with it which is kind of reflecting on 
this company. I have to say that it's completely the opposite way to how I feel about this company. I'm so pleased with the boots I have. As you can see, they are very well loved and I'm sure the new ones I got will be feeling as much love as my old ones. So I did just want to put that out there just to clear up any confusion. If any of you guys have seen a video that you think I uploaded recently about these, that's an old video. If you are thinking I have a second channel or something, I don't. Those are just old videos that have been stolen. Big thank you to the Gothic Shoe Company for making these boots. I'm super, super excited to pair them with loads of different outfits. I've even decided that for my Christmas dinner this year, I will be pairing them with my new Hell Bunny dress, which I'm yet to show you because I got it in the Halloween sale and I am so excited. It is covered in black hats with green eyes and bats and pumpkins and you'll love it. So I'm very, very excited to show you that one. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you enjoy the shade and I'll see you next time.